Hi everybody, welcome back. Ooh, look at me and this lighting. Ho oh, ho. To another episode. Today we are going to be learning about parts of the stairs. Why is that important? Because in construction, houses usually have stairs. And if you have to build a set of stairs, you have to know what they're called. So let's learn about the parts of a stairs. There's lots of different parts. So we'll start. Here we go. I'll show you. We gotta move you around. Just stop being lazy and sit down. We're gonna walk around. Okay, we had to come inside because the one in the barn was, just wasn't working. Outside was too glary. So we're inside on these stairs. We have a tread. What you step on is called a tread. And the height from one tread to another tread is called your rise whereas the length of your tread is called your run. So when you do calculations for building a stairs, it's always rise over run. The big support right here, this is called your stringer. Some places call it a string. I doubt it, okay, it's not a string. It's a stringer, it's just the way it is, it's a stringer. So like I was saying, right there, this is your stringer. I have lots of stringers on this staircase because it's a really wide staircase. It's about four feet wide. Other little things you need to consider is this side of my steps is open. There's nothing here. That side of my stairs is closed. There's a wall. So this stringer over here, that would be called my closed stringer. And this would be my open stringer because it's open. These over here, they're just regular stringers. That's it. And we have our kitty. He is not part of our stairs. We have a tread. If you have something that is covering the rise part, that's actually called your riser. So we have a riser, a tread, stringer, open stringer. I almost said closed, it's open. That side is my closed stringer. If we look at what kitty is on, Kitty is on something called the landing. So we go down the stairs, boop, boop, boop. See Kitty, Kitty is on the landing. The purpose of a landing is to change directions. So my stairs is going down, then it can come over. So I have a landing. There are other parts of the stairs that I don't have on this staircase. There is a railing, but my railing's a bit different. So I have to show you a normal railing. So we have to go to a different set of stairs. So follow me. So on the stairs, down here, I have a landing. I have a tread, I have a riser. If I had to calculate my stairs, rise over run. How high is it gonna be? How long is each step? What you can't see is my stringer because, well, it's covered up with drywall. But what you can see on this is my railing. So this whole thing is my railing. That's my handrail. That's what you grab to go up. One thing I don't really have because I don't like them is there's usually two by twos going up and down in between your top rail and your bottom rail. Those are called your balusters. They are supposed to be there so people can't stick their heads in between them. Since I don't have kids, thank God, I put cable railing up because, I don't know, I think it looks sexier. I don't have to worry about getting my head stuck in there, so I put cable railing in there. From there to there, cable railing needs to be three or two and a half inches on center as far as code goes. Hand railing, boom. If you ever watch National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, you know what this is. When Chevy Chase is walking up the stairs and he cuts the top of it off with a chainsaw, fix the new post! That's what that is, that's your newel post. I have lots of newel posts going up because I made mine out of barn beams, so I wanted a nice sturdy railing. And I guess you could call these my balusters. They usually go up and down and are made out of crappy two by twos. Outside showing you another set of stairs. 
has all the same parts. It's just built a little different. There's a landing, there's a tread. There's no risers on this because it's outside. I need a place to put the snow. Again, I don't have balusters. I have cable railing. There's my newel post. There's my top rail. There's my bottom rail. You can see the stringer really well on outside steps. Inside steps, not so much. There's one more thing I wanted to teach you about stairs. You can see that this is the stringer. Over here in the middle, there's the stringer. But if you look, I have an additional board on there. And you can see that over here when you look at my pointy stick. Kappa, you fool, you broken my pointing stick. I got nothing to point with now. It's just a two by four. That is actually called a strong back. It is strengthening the rigidity of my stringer. Do you always need those? No, you can have the option like these. This is just made out of a two by 12, so it's dimensional lumber. It's one big board. You can spend more money and get them made out of engineered lumber, meaning compressed plywood, which can be as thick as you want, and it makes it really stiff and rigid. I needed to stiffen these up a little bit, and since it's in my wood shop, it's in a barn, I just went with a strong back. So, in conclusion, you learned a lot about steps today. Oh, I shouldn't say steps. Stairs, stairs vocabulary, that's what we'll call it. You learned a lot about stairs and the vocabulary of stairs. I just never know where to stand on these cameras. They're always auto-focusing. I showed you lots of different stairs. They're all essentially the same thing. Learning the vocabulary for stairs is the easy part. Calculating stairs is the hard part. I'm gonna hopefully teach you how to do that. It's just, I haven't quite figured out how to do it online yet you know but anyways thanks for stopping by everybody hope you learned a little bit about stairs steps all that cool vocabulary yeah you are getting a quiz on it deal a meal what can you do it's online learning now stop having this coca bola virus and everything will go back to normal see you in the next episode everybody this took a lot longer than i planned it i was hoping this would be a short little video no everything turned out poop thanks for stopping by everybody see you next time bye